<laughs> Dude, could we use this thing, something like this on the farm? This is a beast. All right, guys. Well, we just uh, stopped over at our local Loray junkyard. Look at that beast, dude. <laughs> that is some, uh, some Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome ride right there. Dude, if there comes a time where there's lawlessness on the roads and anything goes, we need to come get this. <clears throat> that thing's awesome. So yeah, we uh, have befriended our our local guy at the junkyard where we salvaged some of the cars that came off the property. So we just stopped up here today to say hello. They've got some stuff that came from the farm that's uh, out in the front. And I guess he'll sell somebody's interested but a similar more modern one but yeah look, we'll let you look around look in here see dude that's what you need for the lawlessness right there check this out <laughs> dude could we use this thing something like this on the farm Hell yeah. dude this is a beast this thing is a beast dude there's the mad max one <laughs> that thing is cool. I think it's just the caging that protects you that makes that one look so cool. This one has the caging too, just not as. I like this option though. Dude, take it into DC. What was that guy that freaked out? Yeah. Yeah. What do you have? He had like a tank going through the streets or was it a dozer he had a bulldozer that he armored and then went crazy that hey that's what we need there's our machine, there's our machine. we need one of those that one got wheels or tracks wheels you can tell the way it's bouncing around There's something that's always cool about a junkyard. Whether it's looking at the, the crashed up cars, and wondering if somebody lived or died. That one got a little tap in the rear. They ripped all kinds of stuff out of this car. I mean, they're whole dash everything yeah they're definitely not sitting around here doing nothing they're pulling parts i bet the internet just fuck just made a whole boom for this type of business you got a lot of fixer uppers you got your high-end land rover there just needs a little armor all Look, he's got a whole car. I mean, they gotta have a pretty good lift capacity, huh? Just move a whole car around. So that's 10,000 pound machine. 
they can lift what three to four thousand so more than any little car is gonna weigh cool all right guys just wanted to let you check out some of the some of the cool cars here at the little salvage yard in Lou Ray Virginia All right guys, so we're uh, out front. We're gonna go down and let y'all peek at what you recall cars that came from the farm, what their destination was. I don't know if this is their ultimate destination or not, but it uh, is their purgatory right now. There they are. Got the, the old Ford tractor made its way here. We got the heavy Chevy. Made its way here. And of course, Herbie. Herbie the Beetle made its way over here too so right out in front so I'm glad they're not sitting on the farm still and us needing to get rid of them we were able to get a few dollars for them and they got the space to let them sit out here until somebody comes along that's interested back over to the farm. So we're getting pictures coming in. Camera must not be turned off yet. All right, today we're uh, saving some trees. We're gonna pull some vines out of the pine trees down in the lower field. Ted is uh, trying to be MacGyver. He's gonna come up with an apparatus that'll save a little work yesterday we were using a real heavy chain to wrap around these vines and it didn't grip real good they make a kind of a tool for that but nobody has it in stock so we're gonna make one of our own what are you doing with that I wasn't gonna do that I was just gonna separate it now it's gonna be a weak spot no, I wanted to get rid of this one. Oh. Uh, you know? Oh, and you have so a full just one. Just go to this one, yeah. I'll, I'll shut up. One. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always trying to play director. Sometimes better to be quiet. Yeah, we're going to use a combination of the, the ring and a loop. We're going to create a, create a noose, a noose of sorts. So when we throw this around the tree, we feed it through the loop, hook onto one side, it'll pull tight. The harder you pull, the tighter it gets. And it won't let go of the vines. So we just need something to kind of expand that, huh? All right, let me see what I can come up with. Watch your eyeballs, kids. I just didn't cut all the way through. <sighs> Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Holy smokes, COVID. I don't know if you guys uh, can see this. Look at those flowers coming in. Look at that. You just can't kill bulbs. We've been running the, running the tractor across there. God knows how much stuff. Now those bulbs might not have seen the, the light of day in decades because the grass and the weeds were so high. We also noticed the bulbs over here 
which talking to Eddie we found out was the fence line so these bulbs were probably just outside of the fence which I wouldn't even have known that this was a fence line and this was probably the used entrance for the house most of the time and not the front door similar to us using our garages now I'm going in through the garage so you had your fence all the way across up to that corner and then around that tree right there fence went across the front so your bulbs are coming in and basically helping us figure out how the house was laid out I got some bulbs coming in over here too right on the fence line so man I'm gonna metal detect through here soon haven't found much of anything metal detecting mostly trash a lot of beer cans but <clears throat> summer comes we got to get some cleanup going before the grass and the weeds and the vines start growing in so we jumped down on the lower fields and away from the house to get that ready before spring and then we'll get back up here once we get to a stopping point down there but yeah just thought it was cool to see these flowers coming in wonder how many people have taken care of the landscaping over the years I wonder who planted these bulbs. <clears throat> and to know that they're still coming in. No flowers yet. <clears throat> no flowers yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let me help Ted get ready to pull some vines. Show you guys the progress. got the saws ready, new blades, everything's tuned. We're gonna go kill some vines today. All right, clip that on somewhere, put it on your shirt, and that light that lower, lower spot. And then I'll do a little sound check. Yeah, now talk, talk. Can you hear me? I don't know, did you say something? Testing. Testing. Do it Testing. again. Yep, yep. It's coming through good. Cool. Sweet. Now hopefully you guys, especially you Pop, don't have to turn your hearing aid up in order to hear us. And if we talk about you, you can definitely hear us. All right. First, come down. See our piles we got going. This is just from yesterday, clearing vines. Another pile over here. So, we're going to continue our work. These are all just those saplings growing up around the pines. That guy right there is the result. There was probably half a dozen trees growing up in around the bottom of that tree. And then all the vines. So he should come in beautifully springtime. Yeah, that looks good. Dude, it looks amazing. Yeah, yesterday we cleaned this tree. Actually, about every tree you can see in this shot had vines growing up all around them, really. But, yeah, some 
pretty big, I'll call them leech trees. All they do is leech the water, starve this guy. We want him to come in nice. But yeah, all of that is either vines or leech trees from around these guys. You can see all these fresh scrape marks is where we were dragging the vines and the branches. So, this guy we ended up leaving. That's one of them honey locusts with those big old thorns on them. Is that coming out this way? Yeah. <clears throat> yep, that dead ass one right there. Ooh. You can almost hear the tree going, ah, thank you. So hopefully you guys are getting some clear audio and uh be able to talk while we work and not blast your ears with the with the chainsaw. That's the goal. Sweet. Yeah, that looks good. This one, that one. All these lower branches can Come in strong. You wanna go work that property line? Yeah. Not a whole lot left to it. Look at all those vines. Yeah, I mean, you see how thick that vine wrapped around this tree? Look at all those vines that have come up around this tree and are killing it. Right. That's not a uh, pine, though. No. What is that tree? Are those leaves on the vines or leaves? Look at the buds coming out already, dude. Yeah, the, on the vines. Freaking February, second week of February on the vines. Well, this one we just try to grip them and pull and see what happens. Cause they're definitely killing the tree. So there's a mix of uh, the thorn bush. And the vines. And the vines. Let me cut that thick vine right there. All right. And we'll hook something to it. See what, see what happens. See what we can do. All right. Yeah, I think there's not going to be, it's going to look like a stick coming out of the yeah, ground. Yeah, I don't the, think there's going to be much left to it. Once the vines are gone. All right, well, here's our day, guys. We're going to, uh, these are the trees that made the cut. And then as you can see at the base, are pretty much every tree, especially the pines, they seem to like to they thrive under those pines. So we're gonna try to cut these vines loose from the ground. And then we can keep them from growing back in. But we're gonna try to pull them out with our strap. Mm, head made up, and try to grip them and free these trees out. Look at this, look at that. Those vines just come up, they just wrap around the tree and then they pull the top of the tree back down to the ground. And as you can see from this tree here, they actually will snap off 
the tops of the trees. Breaking them back down. That's amazing. Look the way that tree's curved. That's not because it wants to grow that way. That's those vines. That's pretty crazy. All right, I'll let you guys watch while we try to save this tree here. Ah, fuck. Give me a sound check. Test it. Test it. One, two. One, two. to be working. Dude, this thing is just covered with vines and stickers. Oh, stickers. You need gloves? No, I wouldn't be able to do this with the gloves on. No, it's fine. So that thing's going to hold? Well, we're going to see. I don't know. I didn't wrap it around or anything. You know, I just... Just one time? Just one time. You know, it could be wrapped around more than once, but I think with this one, we're gonna see. It'll be a little test. Yeah, see if the whole tree comes out of the ground. Look at that. Love it when a plan comes together. Come on, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give a little yank on that thing. Good thing I wore my... Here. Oh shit, I had something here. You my can work pants. On. Oh, look, my pants got dirty. All right, let's put it in low, reverse. Let's see what happens. So the trick is if this chain pulls tight, the problem we were having our strap kept pulling loose. This seems to be working pretty good. There we go. I'm just gonna put it around that stuff. Yeah. And just see what it does. See what happens? Yeah, and see what it does. Crazy how strong they are when they're green, and in the winter time they get dried out. Yeah, and I think these are a little more dead than the other ones we were working with. Yeah. So they may tend to snap like that. All right, let's see what happens. I know the ones like this that were over there. Just I was just pulling, pull and they would just break. So. Yeah, see, they just break. Let me get it on something more substantial. So that's the trick, is just being able to pull that off. If the you end. can pull it off the end. Right. If not, though, it's not just hard to through. pull that off. That might not be able to. Maybe I can. There you go. Yeah. Cool. This is the beginning of burn pile number three. I don't know if you guys can pick up on it, but it is pretty breezy down here. So if we were just using the microphone on the camera, you would be hearing a ton of wind noise. I'm trying to figure out what kind of fruit trees, bushes these are in here in this little orchard. 
drag these over here and we'll start them. All right. Turn. All right. Yep. I mean, it's definitely quick. Right. Not in there wrapping and tying and Exa every time you it's were like having boom, to do boom, that. It's like boom, boom, boom. And then that yeah, not only have to wrap to tie it, but then have to unwrap it. And it's long enough we don't need uh, Most of the time we probably don't need to add anything to the it. strap. I'll be curious. I mean, a chain looks small compared to it yesterday's does. chain. It does, but the way it's built. It's pretty strong. It looks like it might be pretty fucking strong. We'll find, we'll find out. out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this stuff's pretty dead. I mean, it holds nice and tight. Oh, it holds no problem. No, when we get into those other vines like yesterday, yeah. man, it's just gonna make it easy on us. Make it easy. You think there's anything alive of that tree under there? I don't think so. You think all those leaves are the vines? Yes. That once we pull all the vines, it's just going to be a stick under there. Pretty much. Right. I mean, I think some leaves are going to come out up at those little top things you see there. Yeah. But there's nothing in here. I mean, it might come back in now if we get all this shit off of it. I mean, eventually, if we do the pines down the property line, it's not going to matter. See, because this isn't even a vine. No, this that's is a sticker bush. Sticker bush. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to come through and drag that shit out. I'll come down with the rake at some point. And clean up. <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm just going to put around all three of those right there. Yep. And I'll cut the bottoms and yep. just pull it out. See what happens. I like it. This is the way we kill the vines. We kill the vines. We kill the vines. This is the way we kill the vines to save all our trees. I guess we're going to be uh, certified tree huggers by the time we're done here. Look at those pods on there. I wonder what those are. Hopefully there's something left alive in this tree. Once we pull all these vines, then it'll come back in in the spring. All right, let me cut those. Yeah. I'll just put a little tension on it. saw makes all the difference being able to reach in there without having to get on your hands and knees go ahead and give it a tug all right <laughs> 